Hello friends, welcome to Muro Max. Today let us discuss a problem from the topic from functions of several variables and in that functions of several variables let us discuss a problem from Jacobian. So the question is to find the Jacobian of y1, y2, y3 with respect to x1, x2, x3 if y1 is equal to x2, x3 by x1 y2 is given by x3 x1 by x2 y3 is given by x1 x2 by x3 right so solution solution is given by let us write all the given informations first so it is given that y1 is x2 x3 by x1 y2 is x3 x1 by x2 y3 is x1 x2 by x3 and the question is to find Jacobian of Jacobian of y1 comma y2 comma y3 so notation is j notation notation for Jacobian is j j is equal to so Jacobian of which means that do of y1 comma y2 comma y3 by Jacobian of y1, y2, y3 with respect to x1, x2, x3. We should find Jacobian of y1, y2, y3 which means that dou of y1, y2, y3 with respect to x1, x2, x3. So dou of x1, x2, x3. Jacobian of y1, y2, y3 with respect to x1, x2, x3. And the formula for Jacobian is given by do y1 <coughs> we should consider this as rho r1 r2 r3 which means that y1 completely comes in the first row y2 completely comes in the second row y3 completely comes in the third row so do y1 by do y1 by do y1 by similarly in the second row it should be y2 so do y2 by do y2 by do y2 by in the third row it should be completely in terms of y3 so do y3 by do y3 by do y3 by so y1 y1 we have to differentiate y1 with respect to x1 x2 and x3 in the first row so first row becomes do y1 by do x1 do y1 by do x2 do y1 by do x3 similarly second row becomes second row it should be we have to differentiate y2 with respect to x1 x2 and x3 so second row becomes do y2 by do x1 do y2 by do x2 do y2 by do x3 similarly third row it should be completely y3 and the derivatives should be that is differentiation should be with respect to x1 x2 x3 so do y3 by do x1 do y3 by do x2 do y3 by do x3 this is the formula for Jacobian. So now we should find the values of these derivatives do y1 by do x1, do y1 by do x2, do y1 by do x3, similarly do y2 by do x1. So we should find values of all these derivatives and the values of y1, y2, y3 are given in the question itself. Question liye y1, y2, y3 values kudutthetanga. We have to differentiate y1, y2, y3 partially with respect to x1, x2, x3. And we should find the values of these derivatives. Now which is equal to, which is equal to first value dou y1 by dou x1. That is we have to differentiate y1 with respect to x1 partially. We are dealing with partial differentiation. Jacobian deals with partial differentiation and here we are dealing with partial derivatives. 
do it is not d do here partial differentiation partial derivative so we have to differentiate y1 with respect to x1 partially so partial in the sense the other variables x2 and x3 remains as constant partial abdina the other variables remains as constant so here we have to the first term first element the first term is we should differentiate y1 partially with respect to x1 so here x2 and x3 becomes constant yana inga nama vandu with respect to x1 da differentiate panna porom appo in the x2 and x3 becomes constant so putting this constant as it is x2 x3 comes as it is now we have to differentiate 1 by x1 alone it is just 1 by x1 1 by x1 x1 avarikku nama vandu differentiate pananum 1 by x1 differentiate pannum bodu we get by minus x1 square because we know that differentiation of <coughs> differentiation of 1 by x is this is nothing but differentiation of x power minus 1 which is nothing but minus 1 x power minus 2 which is minus 1 by x square so here in the place of x we have x1 1 by x1 nu irukku x ku badala inga vandu x1 nu irukku 1 by x1 so differentiation of 1 by x x1 becomes minus 1 by x1 square so first term is over now moving on to second term we have to differentiate y1 partially with respect to x2 with respect to x2 as we have to differentiate partially with respect to x2 the other variables x1 and x3 remains constant here we have to differentiate partially with respect to x2 in that case the other variables x1 and x3 becomes constant so it here the value becomes x3 it is just x3 by x1 because we know that differentiation of uh, differentiation of any ax is just the constant a ax differentiate pannumbodhu we just get the constant a alone appa here x3 by x1 becomes constant and we have to differentiate this x2 alone appa in the constant we get it here inge epdi a motta vandirukku similarly we get this constant x3 by x1 alone as x2 is the variable here as we are differentiating with respect to x2 x2 is the variable and x3 x1 becomes constant so this x3 by x1 comes as it is acting as constant right now the third term third term is we have to differentiate y1 partially with respect to x3 x3 so in that case the other variables x1 and x2 remains as constant it becomes as constant so we get just x2 x2 by x1 so first row is over moving on to second row second row first element so here we have to differentiate y2 with respect to x1 partially y2 with respect to x1 so the other variables x2 and x3 becomes constant so here we get just x3 by x2 so moving on to second element second term which is we have to differentiate y2 partially with respect to x2 with respect to x2 we should differentiate so the other variables x1 and x3 becomes constant so here this x3 x1 comes as it is x3 x1 and when we differentiate this 1 by x2 1 by x2 it becomes minus 1 by x2 square by this formula by this formula right moving on to the next term do y2 by do x3 differentiating y2 with respect to x3 with respect to x3 so x1 and x2 becomes constant so we get just x1 by x2 so second row is also over now moving on to third row third row first ele <coughs> first element is uh, differentiating y3 partially with respect to x1 with respect to x1 we have to differentiate so the constant x2 by x3 comes as it is x2 by x3 x2 by x3 by this formula now next element differentiating y3 partially with respect to x2 
with respect to x2. So the constant x1 by x3 comes as it is. x1 by x3. Now moving on to third element dou y3 by dou x3 which means that we have to differentiate y3 partially with respect to x3. So x1 x2 becomes constant. So x1 x2 becomes constant and when we differentiate this 1 by x3 1 by x3 becomes minus 1 by x3 square by this formula. So this determinant is over. Now solving this determinant and we know how to solve this determinant considering the first element. First element so minus x2 x3 <coughs> minus x2 x3 by x1 square inside so omitting this row and this column respective row and respective column of the element omitting respective row and respective column and considering the determinant of the rest of the values which is the determinant so determinant of this one and determinant of 2 by 2 we know how to um, simplify it cross multiplication of this multiplication of this into minus of this one so cross multiplication of this we get uh, here we have x1 square so x1 square x2 and then um, x3 x3 by in the denominator it is x2 square x3 square minus of minus of x1 square in the numerator and in the denominator it is x2 x3 first one is over next minus of this element minus of minus of x3 by x1 inside omitting this row and this column respective row and respective column omitting respective row and respective column of the element that is omitting we are considering this element minus of this minus of x3 by x1 so omitting this row and this column rest of the elements determinant of rest of the elements so cross multiplication minus of cross multiplication minus of so it is minus x1 x2 x3 by x2 x3 square i have multiplied this and this into this into this minus of minus of this into this so minus of x1 x2 by x2 x3 second element is also over now moving on to third one third one is plus alternative plus and minus starting with plus plus minus plus so plus x2 by x1 inside x2 by x1 inside omitting respective row and column omitting respective row and column so omitting this row and this column so determinant of the rest of the values determinant of the rest of the values cross multiplication into minus of minus of this one so x1 x3 by x2 x3 minus of already we have a minus here so minus into minus it becomes plus so plus so plus x1 x3 by x2 x3 and in the denominator it is x2 square x3 now we just have to simplify all the terms which is equal to which is equal to minus x2 x3 by x1 square inside it is inside here i think x3 is cancelled 1 x3 is cancelled and 1 x2 is cancelled remaining is x1 square by x1 square by x2 x2 and x3 and same term we have it here so when we check 1 x2 is cancelled 1 x3 is cancelled so in the denominator it is just x2 into x3 and in the numerator x1 square 
same term comes here also with minus. So those two terms are cancelled and we get 0. 0. So first term is over. Moving on to second term. Second term is minus x3 by x1 inside. When we check x2 is cancelled, 1 x3 is also cancelled. So in the numerator it is in the numerator it is minus x1 by x3. Similarly here also x2 is cancelled. We get same minus x1 by x3. And third term plus x2 by x1 inside x3 is cancelled and here also x3 is cancelled and 1 x2 is cancelled. So we get same x1 by x2 same here also plus x1 by x2 which is equal to again. So we have a same term here. So this becomes 2 into 2 into x1 by x3 as well as we have minus here. So minus into minus it becomes plus. So finally x3 by x1 here when we add this 2 it becomes 2 x1 by x3 and here it becomes plus x2 by x1 here also same 2 x1 by x2 which is equal to here we can cancel this x1 x3 similarly here also x1 is cancelled x2 is also cancelled finally it is just 2 plus 2 which is 4 so Jacobian value j is equal to 4 this is the answer. So let us see in another problem. Thank you guys.